Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ArtesiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, our guest is the incredible Michael Amar. Uh, I say he's incredible because of the high impact of his award-winning work promoting the digital economy. Michael co-founded I Feel Goods, a leading digital rewards platform, and he is a serial entrepreneur in the digital space since 1994 and created in 2019 Paris Blockchain Week and Paris NFT Days, which is what we're going to discuss today. Michael, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jennifer. First of all, Michael, can you tell us your vision of Web3 and tell us why you don't think that this is just a buzzword? Um, I guess not. Actually, I, I started my career in 1994 already in the digital space. And from then to now, I think there's only two things that happen, the web in 1994 and the Web3 now. Why I'm saying that? Because I think the consumer didn't always, um, in, the, in the economy in general, the consumer didn't have always the fair value of what he was bringing to the table. And now it's changing because the consumer becomes an owner also of the project. Now let's get back to Paris Blockchain Week. Tell us about it and what you're the most excited about. Yeah, this is going to be an incredible week. It's, been a, it's, it's going to be our third edition, but we're expecting over 2,500 person per day for three days. The first day being Paris NFT Day, uh, which is going to gather celebrities, for example, the coach of Serena Williams, who is going to announce a big project, but also people like Sotheby's, how they're approaching art and NFTs, and Sandbox, the co-founder, who is talking about you know, uh, the largest uh, metaverse out there. Um, so th there will be also an experiment area where you can actually see digital arts, you can uh, go to live auctions of NFTs, but also learn about NFTs and what's an NFT, how do I buy one, how do I secure one. So I think it's really an opportunity for brands, for investors and corporates to actually enjoy and feel what's an NFT and this revolution. So really, we have the makers of this industry, the biggest name uh, just, you know, close by at the Palais Brognard. Now can you tell us what motivated you to create the Paris Blockchain Week, which is, by the way, and congratulations, the largest event of its kind in Europe? Back in 2018, I was discussing with a few of the largest players and told them, hey, you should you know, bring your HQ in Europe in, in Paris. I said, come on, Michael, Paris is about baguettes and tourism and not about crypto. And it was pissing me off, to be honest <laughs> with you. And I was like, no, no, we have amazing companies here, we have amazing talent, we have amazing engineers, and we have a lot of corporates that can help move the needle and move the industry. So we decided to do a conference, you know, by the pros for the pros, and really um, be on top of the topics about regulation, about technical advancement, uh, about a blockchain for corporates and how it can uh, solve many of the, of the issues they're facing on the day to day. And basically, it, it worked. We, we, we did a first edition uh, uh, with 1,700 people, and 80% of them were um, foreigners. With more than 10 million tech jobs being created within the next five years, what is your message to motivate young people to join us at Paris Blockchain Week? You will get a job, right? Because there are so many jobs out there. But it's not no more about taking a job. It's, you should lead the revolution, because three months in NFTs and Metaverse and Discords, you're as experienced than a 50 years old guy. And this is your once a lifetime or twice a lifetime opportunity to not being told, oh, you're too young, you're not, you're not experienced. You can actually have more experience and you know the cause. You're already on Discord. You already, already know what uh, WAGMI or GM means and which the, the older generation doesn't know. So this is your lifetime chance to jump into the Web3 wagon, do projects. So we have uh, cheap tickets for students. Uh, we have giveaways and opportunities on our social network, so stay tuned. Uh, to win free tickets. And also, if you cannot make it, really, uh, you can make it online, right? Uh, all the sessions will be uh, live recorded and, and displayed. And we have a full replication of the conference in Decentraland, where you can actually experience the conference like if you were there, but in a Decentraland slash Metaverse uh, experience. Thank you, Michael Amon, for decrypting the different ways that we are trying to drive mainstream adoption of blockchain and crypto finance. And join us next week when we'll be talking about the crypto philanthropy revolution already up 1,000% in 2021. Bye. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.